Guys, your body gives off very obvious and noticeable signs when things aren't going right health-wise. And yet people seem to over and over put a band-aid over these effects or ignore them or justify them. And I, I can relate to this because I was one of the worst. I used to be a fairly heavy smoker. For several years, I smoked heavily. For, several, for, for many, many years, I consumed uh, three plus energy drinks per day. For many, full, full sugar, the whole thing. Uh, for many years, I hardly ever exercised. I ate completely unhealthy foods. I was the worst for it. I was, I was, I came from a pretty, pretty bad place health-wise, guys. And here's the thing, I would get chest pains. I used to still play a bit of basketball. I would get chest pains from playing basketball. I would get, I would wake up in the morning, every single morning and cough, like, I'm not talking, <laughs> I'm talking oh, like coughing up phlegm, green, gross phlegm every single morning for about 20 to 30 minutes because of, it was all the gunk that had come up from the, the amount of, I'd smoked the uh, day before. You know, my, I used to get migraines, I used to get three or four migraines every week, not, not just headaches migraines. I was uh, consuming a, probably a whole pack of ibuprofen every single week. A whole pack of ibuprofen. 36 ibuprofen, I think, or 24 ibuprofen I would consume in a week. Not healthy, very unhealthy. And yet, I would justify these behaviors. I remember feeling those chest pains and thinking, oh, you know, that's no big deal. I'm, I'm, I used to go to the gym still. I, was, I used to think, oh, maybe I strained a muscle, you know. I would wake up in the morning coughing my lungs up every single morning and I would think that was normal behavior because I forgot what it was like to wake up breathing normally. You know, I, I grew up with asthma and I used to think, oh, it's the seasons changing. My asthma is just kicking in again, you know? I would justify it. Ridiculous. Those migraines, I would think I was under a lot of stress at work, in which I was, but that alone shouldn't be causing three plus migraines a week. You know, your body gives clear, obvious, telltale signs as to when something's going wrong. And yet, painkillers, anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, you know, band-aid solutions to these problems and then sweep them under the rug. Let's, let's avoid facing that for a little while. Let's, let's uh, ignore that one. Guys, you're going to have to face it sooner or later. I ended up... Uh, getting migraines so bad that I went to the doctor and the doctor said, look, you've got extremely high blood pressure for someone your age. I was 22, 23 years old. She said, look, I'm gonna have to put you on blood pressure medication. Normally I don't put people your age on blood pressure medication, but I'm gonna have to. And that was a wake up call for me, guys. That, that told me that I need to short, sort my shit out I need to sort it out right now or I'm going to be one of those people like my grandfather, my grandmother, dying in their 40s due to stroke or heart attack. I don't want to be one of those people, guys. So whether you're ignoring these telltale signs now or whether... Or the point is you're going to have to face them at some point, guys, because if you don't face them now, you're going to be in the hospital in 10 or 20 years and... The damage is done at that point. You'll be counting down the days. So probably better you face it sooner rather than later because you're gonna to have to face it eventually. Peace.